We're very, very excited to have Marianne, or Mary, I, would, well, I don't know why it. you call her Mary Ann all Mary time. Ellen Saganovich. Yeah. Is, am I pronouncing that correctly? That's correct. And I, that's why I go by Ask Mary Ellen yeah. on the internet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. I've been calling you Mary Ann. Yeah. <laughs> no, so Mary Ellen, uh, we're so excited to have you here. I mean, we love what you do as far as uh, uh, your positive vibes. You know, one of the things that Tiki Man Radio is all about is uh, positive vibes. We do that through music. We do that through uh, our writings, our books, uh, all this stuff, you know, because the world needs more positivity in it. And uh, uh, I just, you know, I've been following you for a long time on Facebook, and uh, uh, I love what you do. So welcome to uh, Sunday Mornings with the Tiki Man. Oh, thank you. This is just such a wonderful opportunity to be here with you guys, just actually in the studio. I'm just, I've been so excited and to be with all of your wonderful listeners all around the world. I mean, thank you so much for this. Uh, it's just wonderful. Well, we're glad to have you here. And, uh, of course, we got your new bu- book here. Mm-hmm. And uh, so tell us a little bit about that. And uh, how how, does, how did you get into doing all of this? Well, I always knew I was supposed to write a book. And I started writing a book on teaching because I'd been in education. I graduated Georgia, University of Georgia Education, taught middle school 15 years. But I struggled with it. And you know, when you struggle with anything, then you shouldn't be doing it. Correct. Right. So I put that down, and I started hearing messages coming to me. I know that sounds very unusual. No, I not at all. A lot of unusual things happen in my life, but I started hearing these little vignettes that were in my first book, uh, Healing Words, Life Lessons to Inspire. Yeah. And they kept coming to me, so I finally I said, okay, I will write them down. So I sat down, I began writing, and... I wrote, like, long-handed, like, five legal pads. Oh, wow. I think Pete thought I was having a breakdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Pete being your husband. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, so I put the legal pads down, came back, and transposed them onto a, you know, word program, and that was my first book. And then to get that book out, I started writing The Truth of the Day on the Internet. Right. Mm-hmm. And that started in 2011. Oh, wow. And I've done it every day since 2011. On the weekends, I usually post a photo. It's not as long as during the week. But I try to guide people towards the actual universal truths that right. will assist them with on their life journey. Not just facts or opinions, things that will work for everybody. Like what you focus on expands, what you think about happens. Right, right. right. You're never upset for the reason you think. And I teach people uh, philosophy, and I have clients that I work with also. Oh. And I, I teach people a philosophy of one finger out, three fingers back. Meaning the good you see in others is the good you have inside yourself. Sure. Wow. And conversely, the things about other people that hook you are the universe's way of showing you what you need to work on in yourself. Right. Hmm. That doesn't mean that they don't do something that's incorrect. They might. Right. If you see it and you just drop it, then it's not anything you still need to work on. Right. But if And if you see it and the next day you're going... I can't believe they did that. And two days later, and even a week later, you're going, you know, I'm just so upset that they did that at that party. I would never do that. Then what do you need to learn from seeing that situation? I want to fix your microphone, right? Okay. There we go. Tiki Man's at it. Is it? They're yeah, it's still, still, it's still buzzing. Is it? It's still got a hum? How about now? Mm-hmm. Uh, tiki Man. Oh. Yeah. Now, it, it stopped. There we go. It stopped. It stopped. It? Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, it yep. stopped. You're it good. It stopped. Perfect. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Uh, no, and it's okay. We just yeah, want to okay. get your whole message. It's yeah. all good. So it's all in the way you see things. It's your perception. And yes. what I teach people is that there are no problems in life. There are perceptions and misperceptions. Right. And to the extent mm-hmm. you see something as a problem, then it is a misperception. Right. Step back and embrace it with love and say, what can you learn from it? Mm-hmm. Uh, Love is what you need to heal. Love is what you need to be successful. Love is what you need to do everything positive in this world. And I don't mean a self, you know, you have to love yourself. Right. That's step one. And I don't mean a selfish love. I mean the love within you that lets your past go. Drop your past. Why are you carrying it around in that garbage bag behind you? Why do you want that weight still carried with you? I agree. Yeah. Forgive yourself and move forward. Mm-hmm. into the light to bring positivity to bring light to bring joy to bring kindness to encourage everybody to be the 
people that we're supposed to be. We're yes. supposed to be here to bring love, to give love, mm-hmm. not to get love from everybody. Everybody looks at what they can get from someone else. <laughs> that's it, right. That's yeah. right. Well, yeah. You're absolutely right, and that's I, not wrong. Yeah, I talk about everyone, you should go with no expectations, no motives, and no judgments. Right. You know, And, you know, I had an expectation of coming here and being on. Yet mm-hmm. if something had happened and you'd been ill or something had happened, that'd be okay. I'd go and reschedule it and come back. Sure. So I wouldn't well, yeah. get all upset by it. Right. No. No need. Well, I tell you, you know, it's, it's really uh, a lot of people have to be in the right frame of mind to accept uh, positive uh, advice. Uh, you know, a lot of times they are around negative people mm-hmm. and those people want to drag you down to their level mm-hmm. uh, because that's all that uh, that they know. And uh, they can, they really don't want you to be happy, even though they seem like your friends. Uh, they will uh, they tell you all this stuff. Well, you know, you know, you really don't need to really hang around those people, or you don't need to do mm-hmm. this. They're always telling you the bad advice because that's how they live their life. And if you can cut out the, those negative people in your life and surround yourself with positive people, you immediately see the difference. You know, exactly. Because I was raised. Oh, with tons of negativity. I was at the age of six. I was diagnosed with epilepsy. Oh, wow. And uh, so my mother would always tell me, you can't get married. You can't have kids. You can't do this. You can't do that. And I'd be like, you know, and I (laughs) wasn't a rebellious kid. I always tried to be very obedient, but I was a cheerleader in high school anyway. Wow. All five years. I went to the University of Georgia. And because I had a very controlled case of Mm -hmm. epilepsy. Mm -hmm. Yet when I uh, was getting engaged to my first husband, (laughs) first world number two right now. (laughs) It's okay. (laughs) We all have those. Yeah, it's all good. (laughs) It took me six hours to tell him that I had epilepsy because I thought he'd just drop me or or whatever. Right. Because that was the training I'd been brought up with. Sure. And you can listen to that. Or, you know, when you become, and awareness is the key. Mm -hmm. Awareness of self, not of anyone else. Right. Awareness of yourself. And that's where you get the one finger out, three fingers back theory. Mm -hmm. That's how you become aware. Right. Okay. When you become aware that you're whole, perfect, and good with whatever you have. Right. If you have weight issues, if you have speech issues, if you have diagnosis or whatever, Mm -hmm. you can rise above it. You don't have to allow that negative picture of that diagnosis in your life sure i agree change your life change your thoughts yeah and and you know and the the whole point is to to be yourself you know and Mm -hmm. uh you know don't let people uh judge you because uh, you know you 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 know you may look at yourself inside and say that i'm not as smart or i'm not this or i'm not that or whatever that doesn't mean that you don't have something to offer someone else and you're you're probably a lot smarter than you think you are you know Mm -hmm. if you'll just let that person out Mm -hmm. And, and don't hide it and, and be who you are, you know, because a lot of people are walking around with all kinds of uh, mm-hmm. uh, things that they, they think they need to hide for this, that, whatever. And, and you know, you, the point is that to really just be yourself. And those people mm-hmm. that uh, like you for you will, will love you for you. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. yeah, you're exactly right. And you know, I teach people to come that they're either coming from love or fear. Yeah. And I mean an unconditional, universal love, you know, not a sexual type of love. Yeah, everything else is fear-based. Any negativity, any uh, resentment, any jealousy, any of that is all fear-based. Any fear, any doubt of being able to rise above, you know, that's all fear-based. Mm-hmm. I, I give the example, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1986. And, you know, I, I was with my neurologist, and she knew me really well because I was a speaker for the National Epilepsy Foundation. And she didn't want to tell me, and I was like, well, well, tell me. She goes, well, you have MS, multiple sclerosis. And I was like, okay. And I didn't have any preconceived picture, negative picture in right. my mind of what MS was. I didn't know mm-hmm. a lot about it. Right. And so when the MS Foundation, of course, this was back in 1986, sent me their literature, I called them up. And, oh, I let them have it. <laughs> I did. My spirituality went out the window. Yeah. I said, how can you tell me this? And I just hung up on them. And what I did was I took that negative literature and I trashed it. Yeah. But see, what I did was I was buying out of that negative picture yeah. instead of creating that picture in my life. 
Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you took, a, you know, obviously it was all the things you can't do, and this is going to affect your life, and your life is over kind of brochure instead of like you can live like this, and there are hope, and, uh, you know, yeah. we're here for you yeah. kind of brochure thing. Yeah. You know, I don't know what they were trying to sell, but it sounds like it, it didn't go over too well with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was single at the time, and, of course, when you have epilepsy, and now you can diagnose with MS, too. You, right. If you didn't like somebody on a date, all you had to do was tell them they'd turn around and take you home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was dating Pete, my daughter kept going, did you tell him? Did you tell him? And I was like, well, I'm going to tell him. You know, so we played, I used to play tournament racquetball oh, all, wow. all the time. I was nationally ranked. And so I played him in racquetball, mm-hmm. and I gave him 14 points. You only played a good day. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I beat him. Yeah. You know? so, so that night I told him, well, okay, I have epilepsy. He goes, well, okay, you know. Yeah. A couple of days later, and you don't ever know how to break MS to anybody because of their picture. Of right. Kids. Right. Oh, sure. So I said, well, I have something else to tell you. I said, I have MS. And he just looked at me, and he goes, well, I love you. And is there anything else you have to tell yeah. me? <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, what else have you got? Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> and my doctors will always tell me, he's, they say, Mary Ellen, you are the healthiest looking sick person we've ever seen. <laughs> I, would, I would agree. I yeah, agree. I would never have guessed either one of those. Well, and I think it's cool that, you know, all of those things can be uh, a negative thing, how you look at uh, yourself for, to the world. And uh, you've taken that and turned it into a positive uh, for other mm-hmm. people. And, uh you know, the, the world definitely needs more of uh, people like you. Yes. Thank you. And for anybody out there that's listening with MS, don't get me wrong. I'm not putting MS down or anything. No. It is a very, it has been the hardest diagnosis for me to deal with because there are days I've woken up without eyesight. I've woken up and gotten out of bed and fallen to the floor. My mm. legs don't work. Yeah. And uh, those pass, thankfully. And... Uh, it is very difficult. Sometimes you'll, you'll fall on the floor with depression, and there's nothing wrong. I mean, everything's right, right, and it can hook you down. And so if there's anyone out there with MS that needs assistance, contact me because I'll be glad to help you. Oh, there you very go. Very cool. And uh, how did you hear about Tiki Man Radio? <laughs> you know, we were talking in the, uh, that before. I just love that name, Tiki Man. I, uh-huh. I, I've been going around my house going, I'm on Tiki Man Radio. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> and, well, I think I saw a comment from yours or, or something mm-hmm. on one of my posts, and I saw Tiki Man, and I thought, oh, my gosh, that's so good. And so then I went over to your site, mm-hmm. and I saw that, you know, sometimes you had authors on. So I mm-hmm. thought, oh, i, I got to get in touch with them and send sure. my book. And then I found out you were like, Eight miles away. Yeah. I <laughs> How mean, funny is that? Yes. I, I know. People get mad when they realize we're not on an island somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that we make them believe that we yes, are. Yes, we do. I know. Yeah, but, good. you know, we, we love it for people to come here. People travel here from uh, all over the world, and, and uh, they That's love true. coming to the Tiki Bar. They love being a part of it. And uh, we try to create a, a positive atmosphere here so everybody can uh, enjoy themselves. And, uh, and it's, uh, yeah, the word tiki, uh, you know, comes from that old tiki bar out back. Uh, you know, the people would mm-hmm. say, you know, oh, you're that tiki guy. You're that tiki man. And it just kind of stuck. And uh, when we got into radio about eight years ago, it uh, kind of made sense to be uh, tiki man radio. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, we're getting a lot of comments yes, out there. Yes, all there positive. And they one of our you. sponsors from Thank New you. Jersey, um, the Beach Buddha, who is our coffee sponsor, mm-hmm. he has a company. He's like, I love this woman. I know. <laughs> oh, I it's love awesome. Coffee. It helps MS so much. Coffee really helps MS with fatigue. Really? Tea. I didn't yes. know that. Yes, 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 it does. Yes, it does. Wow. wow. So, I had wait, no idea. We can't just stumble all that. Tell us more about that. <laughs> so, yeah, coffee helps with MS. I'm Ca- curious. Caffeine, yes. Yeah. Well, Beach Buddha is right next to yeah. <laughs> One of the things you deal with with MS almost on a daily basis is fatigue. Okay. And people will say, well, are you sleepy? Well, you can get a total eight hours of sleep. Okay. And you can wake up fatigued. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So then I'll start with coffee and then more coffee and then more coffee. And sometimes I'll have to add a green stinger. No, you don't want to know what that is. Because <laughs> 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 I used to take um, ephedra and then they outlawed that because some football 
player took it and fell down on the field and i'm like thanks a lot because yeah. even my neurologist said you know your heart is great you should be able to take it you know right yeah sure, natural yeah. substance so now i just substitute with coffee 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 <laughs> well hey it works wow it i had no idea i didn't know that. out there like i love her i love her i love exactly. her I love her. <laughs> yes and michelle michelle myers chimed in she says i've got her book i started reading it this morning i really love it yeah her yeah. book yeah. is Whatever. awesome it is awesome michelle. she's got more books and i just want to I want to hold up and show the camera, show everybody. So here's one, and mm -hmm. this is the latest one. Yeah, Truth that's the lives. new one. That's the newest one, and so we've got several here. But I think all of them are going to be yes. really inspirational. A lot I, of fun reads. Yeah. I got to tell you the story of why the peacock is. Yeah, like what's the that about? I'm curious. Taking responsibility unleashes true healing book. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The truth. The yes. Peacock is on it. You know how peacocks get their beautiful colors in their tails? Mm. How? How? I'm curious. They, they eat thorns. Mm. Oh. And the harder the thorn is to digest in the digestive tract, the be really? more beautiful the color in the tail. And that's the way it is with people. As we go through our trials and tribulations and we learn from them, not just go through them, we learn from them then we are lifted up to become the bright, beautiful people of love and light that we're here to be. Wow. Absolutely. I wow. did not know that. Therefore, you know. I had no idea. It makes the, sense. Well, I could see, the, you know, the uh, you know how that, that all works with the, the book and the book title. And, yes. you know, the, the more truth you, you, you ingest, right, mm -hmm. the, better, the more flourishing you are. Exactly. <laughs> when you yeah. take responsibility and beat yourself, Life is so much better. Yeah. Exactly. Man. Well, I mean, if you can just ever get to a point to realize that you're not perfect, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah, we all do. That's... And uh, mistakes are not meant to, to drag you down. They're, no. they're meant to teach you. Yeah, and, you learn and, from and, them. And uh, people are like, uh, you know, I believe, I've always believed that uh, we have all have angels along the way mm -hmm. that, that appear uh, out of nowhere that help us get to the next level of our lives. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's that's kind of, you know, what what... You, but you got to recognize it. You got to you rec recognize these uh, things when they're happening, and then apply it to it. You say, "Wow, I didn't know that," or you know, "Now mm -hmm. that makes sense to me." What happened to me a month ago, or three months right. ago, or whatever, you know? So, oh my gosh! I, so you're yes. gonna have to give us your address because I just the told beach, Chris, yes. yeah, the Beach Buddha, our coffee guy, he is going to send you a huge sub package of rising tide espresso <laughs> yeah awesome. you'll love it that's one of my favorites thank yeah. you so much yeah and uh we'll, we'll get we that. mentioned a little bit all of you that are out there listening and enjoying uh uh mary ellen we she also is trying to grow her youtube channel oh and, man we got to help her. and and i know everybody's like yes. oh gosh here we here go, we go another, another youtube but channel no, but no, this, we, is this is a lady that's definitely worth it you yes. got to go and and do her youtube channel it is ask mary ellen on YouTube. Okay, so it's, I'm going to put this in the chat. It has got probably over a hundred positive. Every Monday I do Miracles of Mary Ellen. Mm -hmm. And on Friday I do Mary Ellen's Miracle Moment. There you go. And these get posted to YouTube. And I've been doing these Mary Ellen's Miracles of Mary Ellen I've been doing for almost a couple of years. And I started out doing things with awareness. And I would talk about what awareness is and then fear and love and all kinds of different topics. I've done one on positivity how positivity will work, but the example I give is, is I have a clean pitcher of water, okay, and I dump some coffee grounds in there, and that's the negative stuff. And then when I do positive things, I mm -hmm. add some more clear water. Well, those coffee grounds are still there until you do positive and positive, positive, and flush them out over the top. Oh, wow. wow. You know, because posit positivity will work, but you have to continually do it on a daily basis. It's yes. not something you can do once a day or once a week or once a month. Mm -hmm. You have to rise yourself up to do it all the time. Yep. So the videos, well, I think they're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm sure they are. I have no doubt. Well, I just subscribed, Mary Ellen. Yeah, and everybody. Uh, <laughs> and I just put it in the chat so everybody can subscribe. There we go. So that Thank way. You. They can help oh. out. Larice is oh, here. Larice, yeah. I just love her. Yeah, they're awesome people. Larice is here, and uh, so we always have people stopping by. And one of our favorites is uh, oh, you yeah, got Larissa. your new oh, sweatshirt on. Oh, she's got her new uh, Tiki Man Radio Fantastic. sweatshirt on. That's awesome. Oh, very nice. Looking good. Very nice. Thank you, sweetheart. Yes. Good morning to you. Is Flaz with you? 
it, 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 it flies with you. Got a little bit of a delay. Yeah, so, it's all uh, good. But uh, that's right. That's right. Thank there we you. go. Anyway, and uh, of course we're going to Ireland in 2023. I know. With these two, you know, awesome. looking forward to that. Looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, you know, you and I talked uh, by phone, and um, I was telling you uh, kind of the philosophy behind. And, and my books is, is nothing like your books, okay? Mine are just kind of like a collection of uh, the Morning Post or whatever. But uh, I always kind of look at uh, chapters of your life being five-year increments. And, mm -hmm. you know, everything changes. Uh, I feel like everything changes every five years. And if you look back on your life five years ago or ten years ago and so on and so on, it's completely different. So it just stands to reason that five years from now it's going to be different as well. So mm -hmm. embracing that change, because I know – uh, being part of positive uh, vibes uh, that you do, change is uh, a very big part of what you talk about. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I was reading your book, and um, some people can accept change, and some people mm -hmm. can't, but it's going to happen, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, sometimes things change uh, whether you want it to or not, and uh, that's a good thing. So uh, it can be a bad thing, but it's just how you look at things. Um, so what is your philosophy on uh, people with change and, and embracing change? Well, any type of change you're going through, whether it's aging or changing jobs or whatever you're do going through, if it's a divorce or whatever, again, it's there for you to learn from. Mm -hmm. And it's there for you, again, to, when you embrace it with love, okay? Not that you should like what you're going through. I don't like being diagnosed with MS, and I didn't like, you know, going through right. a divorce. You know, you're not going to like it, and you still have to embrace it with love and learn from it. And just flow with it. Mm. Go with the changes and accept those changes as gracefully as you can, making them the best for your life. Because what what I tell people is, okay, you live in your own little world. Okay, like I'm right. in, I'm in Mary Ellen world. Right. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, Mary yeah. Ellen world is usually always bright and happy and sunny or whatever. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> all that. It sounds I, good to I me. Like huh? Especially with coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when my husband and I first uh, were married, mm -hmm. we were having a little tiff about something, and I looked at him and I said, "You are about to get kicked out of Mary Ellen world." <laughs> <laughs> He's we, like, uh-oh. Yeah, it's raining in my world this yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> and we started laughing, and that just totally whole uh, all the argument. But accept change and look at where, you know, make, you have to know where you're going in your life. Yes. It's just like a GPS in your car. Mm -hmm. you, I couldn't set that GPS to come here if I didn't know where I was going. Right. right. And your life is the same way. Mm -hmm. What do you want to give to our world? I used to teach my students make the world leave the world a little bit better than when you came mm -hmm. and that's what i want to do through my books and through my posts and the books are going to last longer than i will and you know hopefully these words will add some kind of positivity or inspiration or assist other people to see things differently because our erroneous societal teachings right now we're taught to worry anytime you've ever worried about anything did it help it? Did it make it no, better? No, worry no. didn't. No, never has. Worry is a no thing. No, worry should be just put in the trash can. Yes, you know, uh, just in anxiety and stress the same way. You know, you create your own anxiety. You create your own stress. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and there are different medical conditions for it. That's true, and there are a lot of natural things you can do. There are a lot of natural healing practices. Wow. Because when I was diagnosed in 1986 with MS, there were no medications for MS. Hmm. So I started studying Chinese herbs, Ayurvedic healing. I went to the Atlanta Spiritual <laughs> Center and learned all about that. And all of those healing practices I utilize. Mm -hmm. and I, do, I do use a few prescriptions when I need them. Mm. Oh, not, okay. Not, not on a daily basis. It's not a daily thing, you know. Of course, I still take something for my epilepsy and my sure, sure, and yeah. I could go off of it. I'm like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know. Right. No, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm... That's okay. Well, I mean, uh, you know, some of the things that that I struggle with is is people. Uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, and, and I learned this a bit in the corporate world for mm -hmm. so many years that sometimes. Um, I would try to teach my uh, – I was a divisional vice president, and I would try to teach my regional managers that sometimes you want it more than they do, right? 
Meaning that, uh, you know, if they don't believe in themselves, no matter how much encouragement that you give them, like, you know, I know you can do this and I'm going to help you get yeah. there. At some time or another, they have to believe it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they have to uh, take the ball and run with it, if mm-hmm. you will, from a coaching standpoint. Uh, but a lot of times people just walk around with what they feel like is a black cloud over their head and they blame everybody for everything that happens to them. They never take responsibility for, uh, you know, things that have, that they, problems they have created. Mm-hmm. It's always somebody else's fault and, uh, uh, the, the, uh, poor pitiful me kind of syndrome or whatever. Uh, what's your advice for people like that, that, uh, can, you know, overcoming, um, you know, how do you get out of that funk? Well, the first page in Truth Lives, the first mm-hmm. truth is, are you asleep or awake? People oh. that do that are sleeping through their whole life. Right. They might be walking around. They might be dressed. They have makeup on or whatever mm-hmm. they have on. They think they're awake. They are still sleeping through their life. They are wasting that time, that precious time the universe gives you to be here on this planet mm-hmm. to add your unique gifts to the world. And it's, you know, I teach people to get out of, your beliefs always include uh, a doubt. And they come okay. this ego mind. Okay. Huh. And the ego is what always will stop you. That's fear-based. That all okay. that doubt. If you come from your knowings in here, and then you can't see me probably right now. No. I'm, but... I'm pointing to my core self. Okay. Your knowings are connected to your higher power. Whatever you want to call it. God, the universe, whatever. Whatever, you, yeah, whatever. whatever. whatever right. your higher power is. Mm-hmm. And your knowings will always tell you exactly what you need to do. I've had so many clients who come to me and they say, you know, I was walking down the aisle and I knew I shouldn't have married him. <laughs> right. well, hello. And they'll say, well, it was paid for, mom and dad. I don't care. You yeah. know? And it's different from just being nervous. You need to go home and if watch Runaway Bride. If your knowings yeah. <laughs> are telling you, don't do it. Or if your knowings are telling you, don't go to this place. Or if your knowings are telling you, don't eat this food. Right. And you have to know what your triggers are. Sure. Yeah. You have to be aware when you eat a food, you know, if you feel bad, okay, what did you just eat? Who did you just speak to? What did you just do? You know, there are all kinds of circumstances around you. Right. Wow. So I would advise everyone to get into their knowings and to wake up. I mean, and really wake up to yourself. It's not about anybody else. Right. Everything here is all about you. Exactly. I like it. All all about me. Hoo hoo. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I I used to sum it up as a you know if you really wanted to change it you would. Exactly. Yeah. You know if 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 you really wanted to put your mind to changing whatever the situation is you want your life to be better if you really wanted to change Mm -hmm. it you would because. Mm I've always believed that once you change, everything else around you changes. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. You're you know. exactly right. Because in, in relationships, I do a lot with relationships. And when you become the characteristics you seek in another individual, mm-hmm. that person will be there like that. Yep. Hmm. Because your relationship is a mirror for you. Everything in your life is a mirror for you on some level. There huh. you go. I didn't think about that that way. Well, there you go. Wow. You know, she's talking directly to you. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> this has been awesome. I mean, this is an awesome interview. I've I, always thought it, you needed a little coaching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's no doubt about I that. We all need We all need a little coaching. But no, this has been awesome. Yeah. This has been a wonderful and, conversation. And people on Thank YouTube, you. Thank uh, you there's people coming. chiming in. They've been buying your books. Yes, and we've had, we some, we've had a few that. that said, it's a few of our fans that says, hey, we've got, I've, I've got three books on the way. Wow. They're subscribing to your YouTube channel. Channel. As well, oh, you guys are great. That's Thank what it's you about. So welcome. Thank you. So wow. Much. Does this mean I get to come back? I absolutely. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Tiki cool. Man Radio is a little uh, unknown secret here in uh, Chattanooga. You know, a little radio station over here just doing positive things and doing our own things and uh, with uh, sponsors all over the world. And, and uh, we really have a good time about what I we do. I walked in here and I was blown away. <laughs> well, thank you. Wonderful. I felt the same way when thank I came in the really? first time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I think that's how he hooked me. He can't, He asked me to come here for our first date. Yeah. And I was like, am I in the right place? And and, and I walked through the same yeah. door you walked yeah. through, and mm-hmm. I was like, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I knew she was too pretty for you. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was going to make you a chocolate martini, but never mind. Right, 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 right. Yeah, he outkicked his coverage, didn't he? 
<laughs> so I thought it was pretty wonderful too. Well, right. you know, we um, we really love what you're doing. Yes. And, uh, hopefully, we'll get you oh, lots yes. of subscribers. And uh, for everybody out there that has subscribed, please invite all of your friends to subscribe mm-hmm. to her uh, YouTube channel. And uh, you ask can also Mary Ellen. Ask, ask Mary Ellen. Ellen. And uh, you can go over to TikiManRadio.com and you know for all the books and things that I'm uh, interested in or the authors that I've uh, interviewed, mm-hmm. uh, they are on TikiManRadio.com on the Tiki Bar Publishing tab. Her book is on there as well. So you just click on it, it takes you right to where you can buy it, and uh, makes it nice and easy for you uh, that way. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, man, I, I tell you, I love oh. what you're doing. I love what you're about. Thank you're always you. welcome awesome. here. Oh, thank you. But be careful. It's very addictive coming over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I love it. I mean, this has been so much fun. I got to tell you, I don't get nervous anymore before too many ir- interviews. And right, yeah. This morning, I was like, <gasps> okay, God. No, okay. Okay. It's I okay. Do it. We don't I bite. Do yeah, <laughs> probably, you know, walking into somebody's strange house. You know. <laughs> just, hey, just go on through the basement there and uh, <laughs> you'll be just fine. You know? See that yeah. door that says Tiki yeah. Man Radio yeah. on there? That's where you come on come through. On, come okay. on over to Uncle Chester's place. <laughs> and, uh, we'll have a good conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. Oh, but, yeah, it ain't goodness. like that. <laughs> no, not at all. No, you have to come back and visit from time to time. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I too. Thank you. Can I tell my website for everybody? Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. My website is www, of course, askmaryellen.com, which has links to everything on there. I have my blog. I have tons of blogs on there for you to wow. read. and all kinds of positive messages. Well, there awesome. You go. And your post, uh, and, and I'm sure you two can talk for hours about the... Uh, the Chinese medicine, yeah. Yeah, oh, Chinese yes. medicine, so organic and all that stuff, yeah. you know. Um, that'll be another show. <laughs> <laughs> another show. We could do, do a few hours on that. So. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. But uh, we want to thank you for being here. Oh, hopefully yeah. you, you oh, can help spread you. the word of Tiki Man Radio. And, I will um, do that. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, if you ever... You know, and you do radio a lot. You do radio yeah. and yeah. podcast. Podcast. Tell us a little bit about that right quick. Well, because I do Miracles with Mary Ellen on Mondays. No. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'll be on Facebook Live. I'll go on Instagram Live, and I'll post on go. I'll post it on YouTube. I don't think I know how to do that yet. We'll think about it. Yeah. And, and I do uh, Mary Ellen's Miracle Moment on Friday. I do okay. con- Conversations Live Radio uh, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And my Truth of the Day posts are, yeah. are carried all over the world on I Heart Radio through Conversations Live Radio. I, wow. re- I record them uh, for them, and then they play them. So if there's a radio station out there listening that would like to carry some of my truths of the day, I'll be glad to record some for you. Wow. Well, you've come wonderful. to the right, the right place. place. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk more about that because, wow. uh, you know, we're all about positive vibes. You know, people always tell me, you know, you need to do your morning post on YouTube or this or that or whatever. But, uh, you know, that's what the radio's for. And uh, I love the fact that people stopping by, you know, mine are usually about six o'clock in the morning because I'm an early riser and uh, uh, I kind of get that out of the way, start your day a positive way, usually before the sun comes up. So uh, I really appreciate everybody stopping by. But now they can. And, uh, tune in for you. At a, you said around oh, nine o'clock. Definitely. Uh, yeah, nine a.m. Uh, Facebook Live, Instagram Live. I go on uh, before that, and you know my truth of the day comes out usually around five o'clock in the morning, and it's usually a post, uh, mm-hmm. a picture post that you can read. Mm-hmm. But and if there's anybody out there that I can help, I do accept clients and. I work yes, because you're a life coach too. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There you go. And then on your Facebook, uh, is it Ask Mary Ellen on Facebook, or how yeah, do we get you on Facebook and Instagram? Well, Ask Mary Ellen would be the best place to go th- to. Instagram is Mary Saganovich. Mary Saganovich. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Well, Mary Ellen, it's been a uh, joy wow. having you here. I've been awesome interview. Thank you so much Thank for you, uh, being everybody in the that's studio. Listening. Thank you so very much. And you can. And what's your husband's name? Peter. 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 Pete Saganovich. All right. Pete. 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 Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Yeah, hi, Pete. Yeah. Hey, Pete, you, you know. really missed out. You should have uh, come with your instinct. <laughs> oh, you know, like, I'm not dropping you off at this shady place. You should have come on over and yeah, had a good time with us. He was a professional with, uh, baseball player. That's pretty cool. Yeah, For bring, a while. bring yeah, him wow. next time. I'd love to talk to him about his uh, new patent that he's got out there. Yes, so, yeah, so, that's uh, very really cool. Bring him yeah. over next time. We'll talk more about that. Okay. All right. Mary Ellen Saganovich. Oh. And uh, that was one of the things when I first talked to her. I'm like, I just want to make sure I'm saying your name. Well, yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, don't mess that up. Uh, make sure you go over and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Make sure you follow her on Facebook. And uh, you can go to TikiManRadio.com. Click on the Tiki Bar Publishing page. Go down to where you 
see her book, click on it. It immediately takes you to where you can purchase it. So uh, it's all good stuff. The world needs positive vibes. Mm. And sometimes you got to have a little coastal confessions as well. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday.